Mina, come on live. Jesus freaking gamer here. Back with more Psalms and more good news. Now this tonight's message is gonna be more of a theory than like an actual like I can point to this in the Bible. This is definitely what it means. This is definitely the truth. This is definitely applicable to you today for now for this life. This is gonna be a little bit more on the theory side. So focusing on the positive, still got positive stuff to go through before we go back into the deep, dark, you know, underbelly of life. But I want to take a very talked about subject and kind of flip it on its head. Even in churches, you don't hear what I'm about to say a whole, whole lot. So at the very least, it is semi-original. I'm certainly not the first one to have had this theory, but it is at the very least semi-original. Again, Psalm 98 and going to be in verse 3. He has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. I'm going to focus on um, 3b, or the second half of verse 3. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Now, nowadays, now nowadays, that sounds weird when you say it, but nowadays, when you think about people hearing about Jesus and people hearing the Word of God and knowing how to be saved, truthfully speaking, the vast majority of the world has heard of Jesus, has heard of the Christian faith, of the Christian religion. A ton of people in this world know about Jesus Christ. Whether they accept Him as Lord and Savior or not, that's a different story. But they have, at the very least, heard of Him, which is great. It's the best news possible. I'm sure not everyone's heard yet. You know, I'm going to live my life. I'm going to keep getting the word out and keep telling people about him and keep, try, keep showing them the love that he's shown me and the love that he wants to show them through me. But this was written in the Old Testament. This was written when, you know, Israel was the chosen nation of God. That was it. Back in the day when, you know, when you came up against Israel, uh, you were looking at literal warfare and sometimes Israel went out to conquer their enemies and they they weren't going you know with the gospel tract and the Torah they were going with a sword and shield but he says here all the ends of the earth have seen seen the salvation of our God and usually sight is the primary is the primary sense wherein we intake information we intake reality in the world around us it's pretty much our primary sense for those of us the, um, that can see. And there's something that I have believed for a few years now. And I don't know if I've ever shared it on this channel. I'm going to share it right now. There seems to be this question among a lot of people. And it's a great concern for some. Not just the theory, but for some it's a genuine question. I'm not sure if it's kept anyone from being saved or not, but it's still a genuine question. And that question is, you know, what about the people who have never heard the gospel of Jesus Christ? What about the people who have never heard of God? What happens to them when they die? They never heard the gospel. They never had a chance. And most Christians, the, 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 the pat answer, the easy answer there is, well, God's a righteous judge. He'll sort it all out. I would like to propose, and I could probably do a much longer message on this, but I'll keep it short here. I would like to propose that God has reached out to everyone, even if a Christian wasn't available, even if a Bible wasn't available, even if it was the furthest reach of the world where no one has yet gone and preached the gospel, and the name of Jesus isn't known, and the Bible hasn't been printed. I would dare say every single person on earth in their own way, in their own life, in their own heart, in their own mind, in their own soul, in their own spirit, in every single way, they have seen the salvation of God. Obviously not as explicitly if it's in a place without a Bible and without Christians to preach, but I do believe that everyone on earth in their own way, in a way that they understood, in a way that they got, They've seen the salvation of God. Everyone's given a chance. You know, the timing may be, you know, if there are evangelistic Christians around, that timing will very likely be sooner than later as far as people hearing about God. But even if there's no one there, 
I would like to say not only is God a just judge, he is all-powerful, all-knowing, and present everywhere. It's not like there's somewhere that he can't reach, someone he doesn't know about, someone he doesn't love, someone he doesn't care about. That place, that person does not exist. He is everywhere. He knows everything, and he loves everyone. And even where we fail, he doesn't. God has given his good news to everyone. God has made sure that all the ends of the earth have seen his salvation. And I would it, to someone who would say, well, how do, you, how do you know that? How can you say that with any level of confidence? Um, obviously, Christians haven't gone to every part of the world, so there's no way they've heard the gospel. I would say... You know, if you're able to believe that, um, how about I be able to believe in my God to do what is said in his word, to do a better job of giving forth his word and his message better than us? If you can believe that God hasn't done it, why can't I believe he has? He is certainly capable. He certainly wants to. And this verse and a few others, I would dare say, indicate that he has. And obviously, you know, it's and that kind of relates to the old argument: if a tree falls in a forest, um, it doesn't make a sound. You know, no one's there; no one can verify it. Same case here: no one's there; no one can verify it. But I would say, just as surely, as that tree does make a sound, no, we can't prove it, but it's a tree; it makes a sound. He's God. He's a loving God, and He will make sure that everyone is given a chance to be saved. He'll make sure of it in a way that they get, in a way that they will consciously, actively reject or accept. And guys, that was a little bit long-winded, but thank you for sticking with me. Those of you who did, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.